up through elementary, junior high, and high school, I was always in choir. And then when I came to college, I actually was walking through the Fine Arts Building, and I saw a, a poster that said, join choir! I thought, oh, why not? So I joined, and it's been, I've been hooked ever since. The main reason I wanted to be a part of choir was um, coming to Northwestern, I was kind of worried about being a smaller town, being from a kind of larger town. I'm not having so many opportunities and um, having a place to be and a family to be a part of, and I really found that in the choirs here at Northwestern. I found out about Carmen, my old, one of my old voice lessons teacher, Mr. Doug Newell, asked me, well basically told me, hey I want you to try out for this opera. And I thought, well, okay, you know, of course I will. And so he came with the um, stage director and they hosted a tryout. I actually did terrible. I like pretty much cried afterward. I just blew it. And I was so distraught, and I thought, there's no way they're going to cast me in this opera. And it turned out, they gave me a call, and he asked me, so how do you feel about, would you accept the role of Frasquita and Carmen? And my, my whole world just went, whoop! I found out about the tryouts for Carmen um, from my voice instructor, the director of uh, vocal studies here, Luana Newell. Um, her husband is the maestro of the Enid Symphony and he was looking at OU and OSU and here and just for anyone who was interested and so he came down and we auditioned for him. Everybody knows the habanera song da 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 and I knew it was about a gypsy and I'd actually watched a old, I love Rita Hayworth, she's an old Hollywood actress, she did a movie. It, it's different from the opera, but I'd watched the movie, I own the movie, so I knew a little bit about the characters and the storyline. Um, I knew that Carmen was an opera, and I knew the Habanera song that Carmen sings, just because it's kind of iconic for the opera. The tryout process, um, I was required to have an aria, which is a song from an opera, and I believe it was an a art song in French, because the opera is in French. Um, the Miss Newell told us what we needed to bring to the tryout, and um, so we had to have an aria and a song in French for because the the dialect in the opera is French. Yes, my role I am Frasquita. She's a little gypsy girl who is just looking for love, and she's one of Carmen's best friends. Um, another one of her best friends is Mercedes, played by Alex Skinner, who also goes to Northwestern, and. And I just get to run around and have fun and kind of tease people and, you know, just be a gypsy. Nacy and Alex are playing, I can never say their names right, Mercedes and Frasquita and um, they are Carmen's two best friends and we need three lovely ladies to help us kind of sneak things in to the city and um, they are the three that we find and we go back to our hideout so it's cool being able to um, not only interact with the lady who's playing Carmen but to really get to you know see familiar faces like Nacy and Alex on the stage and we get to interact and it's really cool. I have wanted to perform in an opera I for a very long time so this is kind of like a dream come true. I thought eh, maybe one day it'd be fun to and this opportunity arose and I was like eh, might as well. Well being a music major, my schedule is pretty hectic already, but it's been just a bump up. An opera is tremendously more singing. There's so much more singing. There's, a, there's dialogue throughout each different scene and act, but most of the time it is singing. So the singing expectation has been, once again, bumped. Being in a professional opera is a lot um, a lot more work on your own part. Uh, we only meet once a week and it's in Enid, so Sunday Nacy, Alex and I carpool down to Enid for a um, couple hours of rehearsal with the chorus and with um, the entire symphony and we, I don't know, it's a lot more on me. I have to, you know, do all the work, learn my songs, learn the diction, learn the chorus numbers and memorize it all outside of practice and then you come and it's kind of just, let's throw it together instead of, you're not really taught as much parts. It's kind of just you're expected to know it. Northwestern has helped me prepare for this role um, vocally and theatrically speaking. But my voice lessons teacher has tremendously helped me. Um, Mrs. Luana Newell has helped me in my voice lessons approach the songs 
from a couple different ways so then I can really get a grasp on what I want Fresquita to be like so she can be more personal. This opportunity is helping me with my future career um, of performing, possibly performing, but also learning learning different the different languages and the different stylistic approaches to singing in an opera. Eventually I want to settle down and teach. So with that comes voice lessons and then I can take all of this that I'm learning now and apply it to later lessons that I'm teaching other people. This opportunity with being in Carmen is really um, opening up to different aspects of music. I'm going into music, vocal music education and so I've really just kind of looked at well I just want to teach the rest of my life and I've never really thought so much as performing on the side and the opportunities that there are just being here in Oklahoma. Um, and so it's really opened my eyes to the different people here in Oklahoma who are supporting the arts and giving opportunities like that to college students. And um, this opportunity has really helped me kind of look at different ways to teach things um, through working with lots of different people with working through the director Zach Engel and seeing how he approaches teaching and um, Maestro Newell and see how he teaches the music and fixes problems so it's really helping me as a performer for my future and as an educator.